My name is Mark Weil. I'm the founder and CTO of CloudMine. Uh, we're a Philadelphia-based mobile backend as a service company. CloudMine's approach to security is really two-pronged, um, and it's important to keep in mind both of, these, both of these factors. On the one hand, you have to have the security built into the product itself, and we help with that by helping you make sure that the data that you store client-side remains encrypted on the device, um, that it's encrypted in transit back to our services, and that while we hold it on the server for you, it remains encrypted and properly firewalled and segmented away from, from public traffic and uh, would-be hackers. So CloudMine as an organization actually takes security very seriously as well. We put our workforce through continuous education, on security training, secure coding practices, um, secure network architecture, et cetera. Um, and we prove this to our customers by undergoing annual and biannual security audits, penetration tests, uh, and attaining various regulatory compliance certifications such as HIPAA, HIPAA High Tech, and ISO 27001. One of the most prevalent attack vectors in mobile applications is uh, really so-called identity theft. So unlike with your traditional client-server applications, mobile phones are in people's pockets, they're in their purses and, and uh, you know, on their person, and they can easily be lost, bars, taxis, restaurants. Um, and because of this, if you don't have your phone properly locked down, somebody could take your phone and use your applications as if they were you, thereby stealing your identity through those applications. The operating systems, Android, iOS, Windows Phone, they do a good job of basic security around this, but the default is not to have those turned on, thereby leaving their applications vulnerable to this attack vector. So one thing that application developers can do is to help by adding an additional layer of security into the application itself, um, encrypting the contents of their caches, even if the operating system isn't set to actually encrypt using in-application encryption libraries. Mobile applications actually suffer from a lot of the same attack vectors as web applications have suffered from traditionally. It's a little more complicated to gain access to the client-side code in a mobile app because it's compiled and running on the device as opposed to being in a JavaScript in a web browser, and basically plain text. Um, however, it is still possible to do. So a really common attack vector is where somebody can gain access to your um, compiled iOS or, or Android application and decompile it and extract your API key. And an API key is just a really basic way to have a string of characters on the client side and the same string of characters on the server side and validate that they're the same. And it provides a very basic level of protection to make sure that um, no one can just make API calls to your servers who shouldn't be allowed to do so.